Hello, everyone. Randy here. We're playing Farming Simulator 17 on Lostberg on the RDL and multiplayer server. And we are joined on the server at the moment by Pro Farmer and King Joker. And getting set up with the Crone Big M 500. It's a little bit of a weird looking one with the uh, funny looking hitch on the back, but uh, you can put a uh, baler, loading wagon, something like that on the back of this if you wanted to. Now, in my case, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use it as a mower. Let's get uh, started here. Now, I've got the uh, GPS mod open already. And if you notice, if I line it up, not quite the right angle. So, what we are going to do is we're going to set a custom angle here for this. And I don't know if I've ever showed this before. Most uh, maps, you know, with the straight fields, you just set your GPS up, you're good to go. However, on this map, the fields aren't necessarily straight, or at least straight to the map anyway. We actually need to use a custom angle here. Oh, wrong button. Didn't mean to set that one. There we go. Okay. That looks about good right there. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, close enough. And looks like the width is okay already. 14. Okay. It says it's 14. Close enough. And let's see, I'm assuming this is going to put it into a windrow. Yes, it does. Okay. So anyway, it's raining on the server here at the moment, as you folks could probably see already. Not much else going on here other than we're making some silage bales. Looks like, um, I'm not sure who was doing that. That was Pro Farmer King Choker. Got a really large pile of silage bales there. And I believe this was actually a forestry area here at one time on the map. We cleaned out a lot of the trees that were here. And now we actually got it planted in grass. Or either that it already came planted in grass. I'm not sure. I know some areas on this map have grass on them. And some areas have grass. But it's not mowable grass. So you can't actually mow it. Now, uh, one thing we have noted that would be nice for doing this, and that is having a square baler wrapper. So you can actually wrap the square bales as opposed to the round bales. Obviously, the uh, round bales on the slopes like this, they tend to uh, wander off on you. So it's kind of nice to actually have a square baler wrapper. I mean, we get the square baler, but we need the wrapper for the square bale so we can actually make the silage that way. Don't believe we've seen any of those out yet, to my knowledge. Getting a little uh, squirrely on us there. I'll straighten that out. Does have the uh, all wheel steering. And that is something that will give you trouble on a multiplayer server, especially if you're having a little bit of lag issue. And one of the tricks for that, if you are having issues with something like this, uh, example, an articulated vehicle or an all-wheel steer vehicle like the Crone here. Get it lined up really good with the GPS mod before you start the auto steer. And then you should be okay. Can't guarantee it, obviously, but you know you should be a lot better. And also, just a reminder again for anybody that would like to join us on the multiplayer server here. Links are in the description of this video below for the downloads for the mods. Also, we do have a TeamSpeak server as well, and uh, we are requiring that you get on TeamSpeak to get the password to join the multiplayer server. Like I said in the past, just trying to uh, keep the troublemakers off, keep the uh, game as fun as possible without uh, getting into too much trouble. So that is the uh, reason for the password and for getting on TeamSpeak. Plus, it'll give you folks a much better experience, in my opinion, if you do get on TeamSpeak. And for those of you who wonder, by the way, no, you do not have to have a mic to get on TeamSpeak. Uh, we do have several players that do not have microphones that uh, join us on TeamSpeak. And with TeamSpeak, you can use the text chat 
or also the in-game chat as well, obviously. I'm talking about an abrupt stop there with the mower. Look how Pro Farmer's getting quite a few round bales there. Of course, another issue there with the round bales is you have to constantly stop. Also, not sure who uh, picked out the uh, Crone Big M here, but I definitely approve of the wheel color. That's a good uh, John Deere look to the wheels. Probably not a real good Crone color, but... Even the uh, green on this chrome. I don't know if that, uh, yeah, that, that's really chrome green there, I don't think. You know what, I'm actually not sure. That might actually be a selectable color. Let's uh, just look at this moment here. Mowers. Select. Uh, okay, so that is an option. You can actually change the main color. So that's probably a custom uh, color there. Auto hubs, interesting. I don't know which one this one is set up with. Design standard beacon light bar. I'm guessing we got the beacon light bar because there is a light bar on top there. Whoa, 775 horsepower. Extended rear hitch standard. Anyway, that's kind of cool. I don't know if I have a link for this one in my mod list as this is one of the ones I think somebody sent me for the uh, multiplayer server. So for those of you looking for this one, I don't think... Oh, we're a little stuck. I don't think I have this one in the mod list. Oh, there's a stump there. Oh, that's why. I did not see that. From this view, you can't see it. Should now get a stump grinder out here then and grind that out. Probably, unless that's one of the uh, stumps we can't grind out. That is possible. Kind of uh, one annoying thing about this map, around some of the fields, there are stumps that cannot be ground out. You know, I don't mind that the mod author put them there. It kind of looks cool, adds to the map in my opinion. But it would be nice. Okay, they're in the way. Let's get rid of them, get the stump grinder out, and just grind them out. Or, you know, if you want, you can leave them there too. Up to you. I'm not exactly sure how large this grass area is here. I know at some point you kind of hit like an invisible wall. That actually might be that line of grass over there. I'm not sure. Also, just a reminder again with the servers as well, we currently have two multiplayer servers. We have the server two here on Lossburg, and server one is on Chellington. So for those of you who like to play multiplayer Chellington, we do have that map up as well. Another really good map. And like I mentioned, folks, I don't plan on doing any videos on it. Um, it is a good map. I did do multiplayer videos on that back in Farming Simulator 15. Looks pretty much identical in 17 here I would say and I'm probably going to try to keep my multiplayer videos to new maps and obviously a Lossberg here is a new map now if Oklahoma comes out that might have to be an exception folks because that was a pretty good map and uh, hopefully it will come out at some point Anyway, we'll uh, read a couple comments here. Carson Gamers was saying, great video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Matthew is asking, can you do a video setup on how to use the dedicated server? Ah, uh, yes, I will try to do that sometime for those who want to know how to use the dedicated server in Farming Simulator, or if you have a dedicated server and you're wondering how to set it up, I will try to do a video on that sometime. Jeffrey was saying, leave it to Randy to use the GPS on the bunker cleaner. That is right, folks. I find a use for the GPS for everything, including the bunker cleaner. Uh, talking about the Lily Juno there, by the way. For those of you who did not see the last episode on Gold Crest Valley, pretty cool little mod there. Allows you to uh, clean up the animals. 
Uh, unfortunately, we did have to take it off the multiplayer server here. Apparently, it does not work on uh, multiplayer. It just tends to drive away, never to be seen from again. That looks a little bit hilly there, going that direction. I think we're actually just about done here with the grass, I'm guessing. Like I said, I think that line of grass there somewhere, we're going to run into an invisible wall. Uh, Jetty was saying, I found out you don't actually have to travel to the animal buying place. I uh, just click R and you can buy the animals straight from there. Uh, that is true, folks. You don't actually have to go to the animal place to buy them. Uh, the only difference is you will have to pay a delivery fee, essentially. Oh, yep, there's the invisible wall. That's kind of what I was looking for. I was waiting for that to happen. But yes, yeah, like I was saying about the animals there, you don't actually have to go there. You can just push R and it will allow you buy the animals straight up. Should be able to do that on here as well. Oh, let's see. Where is it? There's the animal place. So we can just go here, uh, buy. I guess we can actually just buy as many as we want here. And somewhere, I think it tells you what kind of... Oh, delivery fee. I think that's the fee right here, 9800 So that is your delivery fee, which actually isn't really that bad when you think about it. Anyway, definitely don't want to be buying that many animals. Okay, now we need to tab back to where I was at. Let's do we have it in the vehicle group switcher. Doesn't look like it. Okay. That is a chopper. Wrong drone. There we go. Non Baslow was saying, did he just set up GPS for a three mile per hour machine? Yes, your eyes are seeing correctly. I did set up GPS for that. Uh, like I said, folks, great little tool there for making sure I was perfectly straight with a cow trough. So that is the main reason I was using the GPS there. I think you can uh, tell or somebody has mowed before that uh, line there, I'm assuming. Uh, Lightning was saying, good video on the Lily Cleaner. It uh, disappeared on me and I never saw it again. That's kind of what I would mention. We had some uh, issues on the uh, multiplayer server with that happening. Apparently it just uh, takes off and you never see it again. So definitely less than ideal there. Okay, just a little bit of grass here yet. Yeah. I don't think we want to go off that slope quite. Aaron was saying for the lily, the left and right blinkers, set your side and front guards, start him in the middle of the trough, and he will go back and forth uh, constantly. And the uh, charging station there gives you the offset for the cost of the hired worker. Interesting. Okay, so that's kind of the purpose of the charging station there. I know it says charging station, folks, but it doesn't actually do what you might think a charging station actually would. At least, again, from the description as well, from what Aaron says here, it's just a cost offset, basically. Yeah, for the most part, I think we got it set up on uh, Gold Crest. Seems like it's working okay. I forget the uh, angle amount we had it set to again. I think it was, like, was it 4,000 or 4,500. That seemed to be about perfect there for the length for the cows. And apparently, yeah, it'll just go back and forth constantly. Okay, let's see. Is there somebody wrapping already? Oh, I'm guessing they are. I see uh, wrapped silage bales. Also see an escapee down here. Oh, and another one.
get the uh, truck here and start picking these up. I guess we could start wrapping them too, except... Yeah, King Joker's probably keeping up with the baler. Not sure. Usually you can keep up with the baler pretty close. May have had a slight head start there. I don't know. Uh, let's get this. Whoa. That was a interesting jump out. Uh, by the way, folks, what we have found when you uh, jump out of your vehicle like that on a multiplayer server, that happens. Like, yeah, what just happened there. If that happens, other people cannot see where you are. Kind of like a desync issue. Let's see if it'll do it again. Yep, there, jumped out again. So yeah, when that happens, other people will not be able to see you on the map. Oh, looks like uh, King Joker found the escapee there. Okay, let's see. I'm assuming this is set up here already. Uh, Matthew was saying that little Lely Juno is a really useful mod. Yes, it does seem like it is. Uh, Samuel was saying robots, robots are taking over the uh, farming driverless case technology. It's really sad because I love being in the field and working. Yes, for those of you who have not seen that, Case and International Harvester, they have come out with a driverless, I think it was the tractor and the combine, if I recall correctly. Definitely yeah, worth checking that out if you folks have not seen the video on it. All I can say, folks, it's interesting. Uh, Dwayne was saying with the lid open, that's how you hook up with the uh, tractor. With a uh, front end loader. Or a three point hitch, apparently. So, okay, so it must work with both, I take it. I knew it worked with a uh, front end loader, but he's saying a three point hitch as well, so. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure what the opening lid for, but apparently that is where you attach the uh, front end loader. Okay, pretty sure I thought there were some more wrap bales around here. Ah, there they are. Other side of the hill. Okay, be careful here. I don't want to pick up any of the unwrapped bales. Maybe we'll uh, stop here a moment. We do have another wrapper here. Fortunately, I don't think we have another tractor here. Let's find out if this uh, truck here will connect to that wrapper. There we go. Okay. We got the wrapper on the uh, Ford 250 here. Doesn't look like there's any uh, PTO on this uh, wrapper, so this shouldn't be an issue being pulled by a truck, right? Uh, Mathos was saying that grass that was showing up, I get that on Gold Crest as well. I think that is a mod conflict, but not sure which one. That could be. I'm not sure on that one. For those of you who've seen last episode on Lostberg here, we had some interesting issues with the grass showing through on the fields. Uh, one thing we did find out, by the way, the cornmeal mod I believe it is. For those of you who have that mod, that mod uh, does some weird things it seems like. Uh, we've been having some issues with that conflicting with other mods. So just something to keep in mind for those of you that have the uh, cornmeal mod. Uh, the cornmeal and the CCM mod. I believe they're like two, uh, two that go together there. If you're having issues, you might want to check into those two because they seem like they are a bit of a troublemaker.
Oh, we got uh, quite a few bales on this field here again. Joel Wiltzer was saying, I agree that crop destruction is not very realistic. I think it should be changed so that instead of destroying your crops, it just sets that part of the field back a fertilizer stage or two. Therefore, the part of the field that is ran over by the tractor and implement yields less, but are not uh, completely destroyed. I can now uh, probably actually get behind that one, folks. That one actually kind of makes sense to me. Because like I said before, especially on row crop type crops, driving over your crops, unless you're actually specifically driving over them, is not going to damage them. Again, probably depends on what stage of growth they're in. For example, you know, full-grown corn, you have to have a pretty tall vehicle to get over the corn. That's probably not going to happen. I get that. But uh, for other uh, row crops or if the corn's at a younger stage, you can uh, definitely drive over the corn without damaging it. Uh, Delcom was saying, I thought I was having an 80s acid flashback when I seen all that uh, grass showing up. Glad I wasn't imagining stuff and things. I had to uh, laugh pretty good at that one for the, uh, yeah, the grass that was showing up there when we were plowing the field there last episode for Lostberg. Uh-oh, looks like our uh, baler took a break here. Oh, I can use the rumble. Okay, maybe we'll uh, do that then. We'll uh, finish wrapping this bale here, then we'll hop over to the baler in that case. Looks like he's got most of the grass here done. There can't be that much left. Okay, let's see what's here. I believe we have that one in a group. John Deere, 85, 30. Yes, there we go. And I'm going to shut, set up the drive control mod here. So it'll stop on 100%. And that is this shift three. So if Falk saw that little hand that showed up there in the bottom corner of the HUD, that's 100% next to it. That simply means the vehicle will stop when it is 100% full. So in this case, once we have a bale, it'll stop. Now it doesn't automatically back up for you. I am doing that bit, but it will automatically stop, which is kind of nice. Also, not sure why we have the back window open when it's raining, but okay. Uh, come to think of folks, why are we even bothering mowing grass when it's raining? Another excellent question. actually kind of be nice and I think I've mentioned this before if drive control would actually stop well, like say 95% or something like that I had an option for that so then you might actually be able to get it to stop in time
or maybe an adjustable uh, percentage setting or something like that. So obviously it's going to depend on how fast you're going, what you're doing, you know, how much crop or material is going into your harvester or baler or wang and whatever. It's really going to make a difference there on how fast drive control actually needs to uh, stop you. And by the way, if you wanted to set this up with a GPS mod, what you'd probably want to do, and I can show you this, we're almost done, so I really don't need it. I wasn't planning on using it, but for those of you that do want to use it for something like this, what you're going to want to do is go down to the mower here. Oh, it's missing wind row there. We'll get that here in a moment. Go down to the wind rower here, open up the GPS mod, and we are going to get the course from the neighbor which should be the mower there. And you'll notice it loaded up the GPS. Got the 14 meter width on it. Now let's see, where's that missing wind roll? Right here. And now the GPS should line up perfectly with what the wind roller mower was doing. Oh, we get nice little leg spikes. That's kind of annoying. In that case, I'm definitely going to start using the GPS mod here then. I think I've said this before. This is like the ultimate bailing setup here. You got drive control mod stopping us when we're full. And we got the uh, GPS handling the auto steer. Yeah, not entirely sure what's causing them a little bit of lag spikes. Oh, pretty good lag spikes, too. Up to 60, 70 milliseconds there. Probably the uh, weather outside again, I'm guessing. Snow is uh, starting to come down again, and it's uh, blowing this time. Oh, hey, didn't we just make that bail? Oh, now Pro Farmer's uh, running around with a wrapper in the truck. And I've said this before as well. For those of you who have not played a multiplayer farming simulator, you're definitely missing out. Definitely have to give a multiplayer a try sometime. It is a lot of fun when you get uh, multiple people like what we're doing right now. You know, I was mowing for starters, and then we had... I think it was a pro farmer that was doing the bailing and King Joker was running around with a wrapper. You know, we've kind of switched roles here a little bit now, but it does get to be a lot of fun playing a multiplayer like this. Anyway, folks, looking at the time, looks like it's about time to wrap up the episode. So with that, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and till next time. Boy, who mowed the grass up here anyway? Talk about a hard spot to get a bailer into.